Hi there. Today I want to talk about opening the heart. And in our Range of Qigong training, we learn to cultivate what are called the five essential qualities of the heart. And those five essential qualities are trust, openness, love, gratitude, and respect. And in our training, we learn to actively, consciously cultivate and grow these essential qualities called the five shin, and shin means heart in Chinese. And that helps us to open up to the world, open up to other people, open up to nature, and open up to ourselves. And many more benefits than that. I, I, it would take hours to describe all the benefits but in this video I want to talk about openness because I've been going for a walk and we're in lockdown here and it's really interesting to notice how some people are opening up and some people are closing down so I want to talk about the mechanics of opening the heart now the way our body works is that every cell tissue and organ has a physical function but it also has a metaphysical function so it has a dual dual function you could say for example if we're looking at the heart <clears throat> the the heart has a protective layer around it called the pericardium and physically that is to protect the heart and in Chinese medicine, there is an energetic uh, protection around the heart, so to speak, that is called the heart protector. One is physical and one is energetic. To give another example, our digestive system, our digestive tract, which runs from the mouth to the anus, has to digest our food. So we, we put uh, food in, we swallow it, we chew it, and then, um, and then, uh, you know, it goes through the digestive tract and it gets digested. And what we don't need is eliminated. Now, it's the same thing metaphysically for our digestive tract, is that we have to digest our emotional life. That gets digested through the digestive tract. So, I hope that's not too noisy in the background there. There's, some, so there's a group of people down there. Um, so... Yeah, so we have to digest our emotional life through our digestive tract, which is why we say phrases like, I couldn't swallow that, or that made me feel sick. And they're not talking about food, they're talking about something that happened or something somebody said. So we have this dual function in the body, the metaphysical and the physical function, which is a very, very fascinating topic because different cells, tissues and organs take on different emotional loads. Very fascinating topic indeed, but coming back to the heart and openness. When we feel hurt or when we feel afraid, energetically we close our heart. So if you think of a time, for example, that you felt hurt, somebody said something hurtful or did something not very nice to you, just something that caused some hurt emotionally or maybe even physically as well but if we're hurt physically we're going to feel hurt emotionally as well then what happens is there's a constriction in in our chest and energetically so to speak our heart closes and the more we do this the more it becomes a habit and most habits become unconscious so when I was very young, unbeknownst to me, I created a habit of closing my heart energetically to prevent myself feeling any more hurt because hurt isn't pleasant to feel. But over time, that became a habit and energetically my heart became quite closed and protected and guarded. And then I created a range of patterns and habits to further protect myself and this is very common for most people so remember that 
the hurt hurt is stored in the heart and also when we experience fear we will also protect ourselves and other, other things will go on energetically in the body as well when we're experiencing fear I won't go into that for now I just want to talk about the heart closing so the first thing sorry climbing up here where the first thing that we have to recognize if we're wanting to open our heart more is that we have this energetic habit of closing it because initially it will be unconscious we won't be aware of it and then what we have to do is that when things happen that up until now we have had an automatic reaction like a knee-jerk reaction of energetically closing our heart we have to stop that we have to actually reverse that habit and instead consciously stay open and I'll add another little bit in here about what is called the heart wall which again is another very fascinating topic so Dr. Bradley Nelson was the man who first wrote about this, the heart wall, and he described how whenever we have an emotion, an upsetting or negative emotion that we don't know how to deal with, we don't know how to clear, um, we, we store it inside, part of what happens is that that energy is used to build this protective heart wall around our heart energetically obviously it's not a real physical wall but it does have an impact on our physical health but we build this energetic wall of these negative emotions and you know if you can see things energetically you can you can see it and this like any wall stops things getting in and out and this is one of the problems when we close our heart is it stops a free flow of information between ourselves and the outside world including other people and this is why for example say somebody has been really hurt and they've closed their heart and they have an energetic heart wall they may crave connection with other people but because the heart is closed and there's a heart wall they're unable to create that connection because there's a wall in between now in the Renshui system as I mentioned before we have these five heart qualities and you may have noticed that I said trust before openness so in order to open the heart we also need to build and cultivate trust because building and growing trust enables us to open our heart because we trust enough to open our heart and so that is the number one step as well to if we if we want to open our heart is that we need to cultivate our trust and we can do that there are specific exercises and techniques that we can do to increase our trust and we just grow it a little bit day by day by day and then incrementally that adds up to a lot more trust and the more we trust then the more we're able to open our heart where previously we would automatically have a knee-jerk response to close it so as I was saying at the start I'm going for a walk and people walk past and I smile and say hello and some people you can see their heart is open and and is much more open during the lockdown because you know things change when we find ourselves in crisis situations whereas some people are closing down which may or may not be indicative of a level of fear and distrust inside but for sure the more we grow trust and the more we can open our heart the happier we're going to be the more trusting we're going to be the more we're going to be able to connect with other people and the more we will be able to connect with nature and everything around us so i hope this gives you some useful food for thought on the topic of 
an open heart.